Hello, this is Amin and this is session 42 of ASP.NET 5 and ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial. In this session, we continue our discussion about Tag Helper and we introduce one uh, Tag Helper which is related to Image Tag. It is ASP append version and we talk about its benefit and uh, how we can use this Tag Helper. Also, we create a responsive menu for our web application in this session and we use bootstrap classes for this purpose. Let's first start with the image tag. Uh, there is some benefit of using tag helper for image tag that I will uh, describe more in the project and when uh, I create an image tag I can use ASP append version tag helper and I will talk about its benefit and why we should use ASP app and version tag helper in our image tag. And if you remember in session 37, we create a custom HTML helper and we implement image HTML helper and we create one image HTML helper and we use that HTML helper inside detail view. Let's flip to Visual Studio and talk about Tag Helper inside that view. This is the project that we have been working so far throughout this tutorial and this is detail view. And as you can see, I use that HTML helper, image HTML helper that I created in session 37 for presenting the image in top of my uh, detail uh, cost view. And let me comment the HTML helper that I created and instead of that one I use normal uh, image tag and as you can see inside the source I use the path of the photo which I stored in the static repository and also for alt I use the alt text that I uh, stored uh, again inside this model and the base of that one is stored in the static repository. Let's first check the behavior of uh, normal image tag when the content of image uh, would change. I stored my images inside www root images. And uh, for example, in this project, I will show uh, image uh, which is invoice.png and I change the content of this one and check what would happen. Uh, let me run the project and then I describe what shall I do. As you can see, project is up and running and I go to cost detail ID1 and as expected and as you can see in view page source, I have image invoice and its image is look like the uh, image that I have in my uh, www root images folder. Let's go to Visual Studio again and here you can see the image that I load is this one. Let me rename this one to 1.png and instead of that one change this one which is employee.png to invoice.png and now we expect to see this image instead of the uh, image that I loaded previously. Let's back to a project and refresh the page. But you can see I still see this image because it is cached in the browser cache space. And if I clear the cache or if I uh, press Control F5, you can see I will see the uh, new image that uh, I have. I can solve this issue with disabling the cache of browser, which is not recommended because if I disable the cache of browser and uh, I download the images each time that I load the page, it affects my internet uh, consumption and also the a speed of loading the page, which is not recommended behavior, but I can uh, change my image tag to the way that just download the uh, image when the content of the image is changed. How can I tell the image tag to do this behavior? 
This is the uh, part that I can use ASP append version on the image tag. And let's flip to Visual Studio and use this uh, tag helper inside my image tag. Here I add ASP append version and I change it to true. And if I save the project and run the project once more, you can see if I go to cost detail ID1, I can see the image of invoice.png as you can see in the view page source. But this time you can see a hash value is added to the source of the image, which is the version of the image and it is added by ASP Apple version. When the content of this image is changed, this hash version is changed and the browser can download the uh, image which its content is changed. Let's prove this fact by changing the uh, content of invoice.png image. And this time I change this one to employee again and re rename the one.png, which is image of invoice, to invoice. And again, I go to my project and here, I just refresh the page and you can see without clearing the cache or press Ctrl F5, the new image is uh, loaded because uh, the version of this image is changed instead of the previous version. This is the previous version and you can see it is ended with uh, VPAU and if I Go to view page source. You can see its hash uh, version is changed to VC7K. And with this change, uh, the browser can understand the version of image is changed and the content is changed and can download the image from the server. This is the benefit of using ASP Affin version and you can make your web application more smart and the image just downloaded from the server when its content is changed and obviously its version is changed and otherwise the uh, browser can use the cached version of the image. And the next step, I want to add a responsive menu to top of my web application. If you remember, I create one layout page inside the share folder and this file, and I use all the general part of my view inside this one. And now I want to add a menu in top of my web application to be displayed on all the view. That's why I should add the menu inside main layout.cshtml file. I use uh, bootstrap classes for this responsive menu. And if you are not familiar with the bootstrap, as I mentioned earlier, you can uh, check the documentation of bootstrap. And here inside the document version of Bootstrap, inside Navbar, you can see the different classes that you can use for uh, your uh, menu and for your Navbar. And also, uh, as you can see, if I change the display of the menu to mobile version, you can see the style of the menu is changed, look like this one, and I have a button here. And when I click on the button, I can see the rest of the menu. And if I change the display to the normal view and to the wider view, you can see I have the navbar menu, same as the normal browser. Let's implement this navbar inside my web application. In the interest of time, I just copy and paste the classes here and you can review the classes later inside the get bootstrap documentation file. And here you can see I use one image for the logo of my application and uh, I have already copy cast uh, image here to be used as logo of my application. 
And as you can see here, I use Tag Helper, ASP Controller, and ASP Action to route me to the home index when I click on the logo of the application. And also here, I have two menu. Uh, and also inside this one, I use Tag Helper to route me to the correct path that I want. I have home menu and also cost list. And again, I use Tag Helper for the routing. And with these changes and with the adding this menu to top of my web application, I will run the application and you can see how it works. Let's save the project and run the project again to see whether this nav bar menu is responsive or not. You can see the menu is added in top of the project and now I am in the home part and if I go to cost list, you can see I have the cost list and I can go to the other part of the cost list and again I can click here to go to cost list and if I click on this logo or inside the home, I return to the uh, home page of my web application. And now we should check whether this menu is uh, responsive or not. Let me run the inspect part with press F12 key. And if I change this view to mobile view, you can see the menu is changed, uh, look like this one. And I have the menu in the responsive way. And if I return again to the normal view, I have my view uh, and my menu uh, in the normal style. Uh, in this session, we talk about ASP append version in image tag, and we understand the benefit of using this tag helper, and also we create a responsive menu for web application. Thank you for watching this session, and you can find the uh, source code of this version inside our GitHub, uh, which its link is available in description of this video and also in our website. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and share your idea with us by commenting there. And also, uh, it would be our pleasure if you uh, follow our social media. Uh, once more, thank you for being with us.